Hello, hello. Welcome to the Eddie Conversation Podcast. My name is Eddie V. Hill and I am your host. This is episode number 92. And joining me today is Spencer Weitzel. Hello. Hello. Thanks for watching and listening. Yes, thanks for watching and listening. Thanks, and thanks for thanks for having me on. Thanks the, for being here. Thanks for having me on the. Awesome. On the thing. Thanks for. Ha- I'm glad this exists. Thanks for having it exist as well. Thank you. So Spencer, yeah, I don't know where to start here. Yeah. Um, you at home, you listening. I don't know if you're if you're if you're familiar with me. You may have seen some projects that uh, that Spencer has been a part of. We've worked with each other on on a, on a few things. I'll list I'll list a couple out. I think our first time working director actor. You're an actor. Yep. <laughs> okay. Technically. You're an actor. Yeah. Technically. I uh, will ignore I'll talk about my my finger in a second, but for now um yes, our first collaboration i'll call it was uh you played a we'll call a supporting role in oh yeah it's what's on the inside yep. so look out for him there i forgot we you were a lead for me in a in popcorn short yeah. film we recently did uh what had happened was that was like a a, yeah. a fun little 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 short that we did last year and then uh trauma days feature film yeah Lead actor there. Yeah, yeah. Psychological comedy coming soon. Coming soon. Um, yeah, that's that's in um, those post phases of we're waiting to see the festivals and stuff. Yeah. And hopefully this month we here. I'm trying to do fingers crossed. I can't do it. But yeah. So yeah. Th- that's just some groundwork there. Let's let's hear a little. What am I? Sure. So, I, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a, a crap job introducing. Like d- 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 the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll into this real slow. Uh, about 20 minutes in, this is gonna start being like real good uh, on my end good. Um, I forgot about uh, you said it's what it's on the inside I forgot that was the first thing that we did and I got to come in for like one day on your very long journey and say like five sentences and uh, it was super duper fun um, and thanks for giving me a promotion um, before you know by the by the next movie that was uh, that was that was great what's the question what, what's going on I was on? gonna say you're an actor I am an actor what yeah. what else can people like? How else do you define yourself these um, days for yeah? For folk when, okay, yeah, that's so hard, dude. I uh, I'm an I'm an artist uh, person. I also am a bit of a filmmaker. I'm a writer. I'm an editor. Uh, uh, an ed- an editor of of movies at times. Uh, I. Uh, 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 in like heart of hearts, I'd say like actor. That's like what's in my in my soul, and all those other things are sort of a, a means to get to do that. But I I also love uh, you know all those other elements of storytelling. I love very much. Yeah. Artist. Artist. Storyteller. Storyteller. Mm. But but actor. Yeah. Is where you feel most at home. Yeah, you sent me Chama Days uh, so that I can cut it up and put it in my reel, because that's what you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this feature film that we made called Chama Days, you sent it to me. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm like watching the thing and I'm going through and I'm doing the clips and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these scenes and kind of remembering doing them, not remembering doing them. And that's like, even just watching... That that like I recognize that that is uh, that's my fucking favorite thing to do in the world is to just act, you know. I was I, and you just sent it to me, so I was reminded like uh, every every month I like I reset and I and I go like yeah maybe I'm maybe acting isn't like the end all be all you know, uh, and I start to mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. accept other uh, journeys and chapters in my life and other jobs, uh, but you know but then you you. Then there's just some reminder, or like I, or like I, somebody sent me a play uh, that would have been impossible for me to do because it's too far a drive. But I like read this play, just thinking like, holy shit, this is everything. Like just to be able to inhabit this person and say these words and go on this journey, like that's that's everything. 
I'm almost disappointed to say it. I'm like, yeah, I'm just an I'm an actor. God damn it. No, it's <laughs> there's nothing wrong. No, I know. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah. So where where do the um not to jump right in. I don't know. Like I want to talk about Chama Days. I yeah, forever. But I I do want to hear like we can. We can still talk about. It. Yeah. I do want to give um the people a little some teases cuz I I don't know when it'll premiere i don't know where it'll premiere i don't right. know when it'll be accessible to the public so we can tease some things here and there and talk about process and those scenes you forgot you acted in and all those kinds of things yeah but i am curious before we jump into that yep. to hear about this 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 pull yeah. and this this uh the thinking about acting and then kind of like pseudo giving it up in your head and then get coming back in or I don't know how, Yeah. how can I hear more about that? And sure. Like, uh, I mean the, the, the short, um, we got version time. is, we got time. How much time we got? Well, it, we're only on the first question. Uh, the, no, it, uh, act, acting is just hard. It's a hard thing to, to do and to sustain. Um, and even like, I don't even care where or how, I uh, am acting. I just want the the story to be good and the product to be good uh, and worth, you know, worthy of doing, worthy of watching. Um, But like geography wise and like where it's going, um, I I don't even care anymore. You know, like uh, 10 years ago, the the whole thing was just hustle agents, all that shit. Uh, and, and now I'm, I'm just, the beauty of acting is sort of everything. And, and as long as I have, as long as there's like integrity to that, then I'm, then I'm fulfilled. However, uh, it's hard to, it's hard to find that material that's worthy of doing and spend. It's like when it's such a time suck too, uh, sometimes. Especially if you're talking theater. Yes. That's what, yeah. Especially. Yeah. And that's the thing. So, okay. So doing theater it's actually it's easier to find um, the material, I think. You know, well, depending on where you're doing it, because uh, there's a lot. I don't know. I've done a lot of crappy plays too, but like, there's just there's good. Uh, there's there you know to to do a to do a play, and it's so much about you know it's a script and the acting and your fellow actors. Um, you, there's there's so many there's so many good plays out there, uh, even the ones that aren't done a lot or uh there's there's good i'm 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 losing it where am i uh yes so to uh the theater it's such a huge time suck and then to balance that with um you know just surviving the rest of life is uh it just gets it gets harder and harder yeah because you're talking about finding the good material that inspires you as an actor yeah and you're saying oh i guess i don't know it felt like you're going to like there's a lot of good theater Play. What's a theater play called? Uh, not a screenplay. It's a uh, a play. Is it just a play? I think so. Yeah. But what's the what's the written? All right. It's not a, it's uh, a play. All right. Either. A script. <laughs> the, yeah. The, okay. The a theater. Play. The theater play. Theater play. You read that? Oh, God. I feel like there's a word for it. But yeah. I don't know. All right. So there's good material out there in the theater space. Yeah. But that takes more of a time commitment. Like yeah. you said, this one specifically was distance-wise too. It was, it was yeah. good material, but it was just—it didn't make sense. It didn't make far. sense with yeah, exactly. It was I like I almost did it. Um, it would have been out, uh, you, you know, it'd been like an hour away. But they have an audience, and they have some money, uh, so you know, like the the and the space is good, and there's going to be a backstage and a bathroom. Uh, these are these are huge things. If you're doing like Fringe Festival in L.A. Uh, which I've had some of the best experiences of my life doing that. Um, but, you know, <laughs> is there a functioning bathroom? I don't know. Is there an AC in the building? I don't know. Uh, is there an audience? No. Uh, well, sometimes, but no. Um, but, yeah, so you get this, like, I got this script, and somebody somebody dropped out, whatever, the long story, somebody dropped out of a play, they threw a script at me, and they're like, can you do this? And I sat there for, like, 48 hours thinking of nothing else, just like racking my like, yeah, I want to do this because I feel like if I, if I don't, I'm gonna die. You know, I need this. I need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. anyway, I had to pass, and I didn't die. Oh. Yeah, that's why we did what had happened was. Yeah. Is, 
Yeah, we we grabbed we grabbed like yeah. pie or something. Thank you for putting that together. Um, okay, so, so I'm glad to hear that there's lots of good opportunity in the story spectrum, in the story space for in theater. But I get that that there's different yeah. variables involved there to be able to jump into that kind of stuff. So talking about film stuff, yeah. How is it on that in comparison to like? Because I know. I know also that you're not a like. There's the the actor grind that you kind of were talking about earlier yeah. with like the ten years ago you and the agents, the managers. Yeah, five and, years and, ago me. Yeah, five years ago you. Yeah. Um, how do you like what what? I I know you've talked to me about not being a fan of like it just doesn't feel like you don't doing the the thing of like going on Actors Access yeah. and then looking at what auditions are available and then submitting the self tapes <sighs> and self submitting and. All that yeah. kind of, yeah. How, what's the, uh, I, okay. So, I mean, I'm just jaded, man. I'm, I, uh, t- to be honest, like I just got, I got, I, I, I just hit such a wall from doing that and it started to make me hate acting. Uh, so that, you know, that right away is like, okay, well I have to stop that because uh, it's the thing I love most in the world. And it's starting to make me, you know, I'm, I'm associating acting with, the whole grind and not even rejection, the grind, like the, the most uphill battle of all time to like eventually do something that's like not that good. Like, you know, some poorly written thing or like have five lines to support some poorly written thing. You know, it, it's, uh, I'm just complaining. These are, it's, this is just such an actory complaint. Sure, sure. Uh, anyway, but the, it was just, it was making me hate, um, or like in some ways, like resent my my dreams. I guess I I don't, I don't know. Does that make any sense? This was it, it, I've I've sort of come around to it, and I'm I'm preparing myself to dive back into exactly that struggle. Uh, yeah. I, what? Yeah. What? What has shifted since that? Like, I know you took some time away from it. Like, yeah. I mean, like honestly, like just kind of, like. COVID like we had I was I was a little bit kind of like falling away from acting before COVID and then we have COVID and uh it just seems like what is the point right uh and then slowly coming I I, there's stuff like just in my normal life that I feel like I'm barely inching back into um post pandemic whatever uh yeah yeah so I guess like thinking about jumping back into that 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 grind yeah. What um, what are you planning on doing differently? Jumping in this time, <laughs> like oh, I just want so to protect that, so my that, brain and my heart. Yeah, because I don't want you to resent this thing. Yeah. Like I'm sure I'm curious to hear about. I don't know what rework, if, or if you have. I, don't I know. mean, I have. Well, all the it's it's just like stakes are a little lower mentally, uh, spiritually, and emotionally. I just, it's like. <laughs> I say that, but it's not even fucking true. Like, I, I have to... It was, can I curse on this? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, all right. Do people curse on this? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be the only one. Uh, anyway, what what are you saying? I was saying that what do you... When you when you venture back into the yeah. grind, what, what's changed or what, what mental processes have you developed so you don't resent it this next time? Yeah, uh, okay, yes. So I have sin- since... Um, I've just come to accept that, like, I, 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 I don't, I don't care where I do it or how I do it, just as long as I'm doing it. And that's like even like self tapes. Yeah, like I'll, I'll happily, I'll get back into self tapes. It, just, I just, it's like I, I'm trying not to attach my like, uh, um, what's what's the word like my personal like value, I guess. I'm sure there's a better word for it, but I'm trying to not attach my like self worth <laughs> to the self tapes and to uh, where I am and where I am not uh, professionally. Yeah, yeah, that that that's that's pretty much it. There's the sound bite, baby. <laughs> I uh, I <laughs> that's why we're doing this whole thing. Get that one sound bite. Um, but no, I uh, now I lost it. The uh, um, it's up there somewhere. Uh, what? Okay, so you were talking about 
something. Self worth and self taste. There you go. Yeah. You're not. You don't want to attach who you are. Yeah. And who well, you, you know are. what it is. It's because I like. I was watching. Um, I was watching our film uh, the other day to like get my clips so I can submit myself to 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 the places, and uh, and I you know I was just actually watching myself going like that's pretty good. I did a good. That's okay. You know, like that. And it, you know, I could. I, I'm. I'm in the movie. The movie's good. And there, there's moments where I'm like, that's that's me actually doing the thing. Like confirmed. Uh, you know, that's that's there. And that that awesome. I think is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that gave some self confidence there. Or so like yeah, self con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because it's sometimes. Uh, I mean, God, so often I need just a reminder that like. Like yeah, I am. I'm a good actor, and because sometimes I, I forget and I get just tied up and and it, yeah, I need a reminder that uh, not only am I a good actor, but it's I, I <laughs> sometimes I need a reminder that I love doing it. It's pretty much that simple. Yeah, I also think you're a good actor. I appreciate you, man. Uh, do you ever feel anything similar to what I'm saying? Like, do you like if there's like a chunk of time where for whatever reason you have not actively been able to direct or write? Do you lose your confidence or momentum or both? Great question. Ooh. Thanks for swinging it back my way. Of um, short answer is uh, yes, of course. Of course. I know for me it's a lot of things. Like that's we were talking about a little bit before um, how – these phases in between projects can kind of start to weigh a lot with like, all right, because it's so much energy to, I don't know, being being a, a producer, director, getting a feature off the ground that we just kind of, yeah. I don't know how we got that movie done. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, I remember that space specifically, Chama Days were talking about like feeling almost like peak as confident as I could have been with who I was at that time, there was lots of confidence there. On I, I loved the kind of tone that we're going for and, and the stuff that we're trying, and it felt like we had a supportive group. Yeah. And then coming out and getting it through post-production, and then now in this limbo phase of like, all right, this thing is done, and it's hard like I hate the post processes of like, all right, the movie's done. We had our cool screening where we kind of we got to get together and, yeah. and celebrate it together, and then I put out like this email to the people that showed up, and I was like, all right, can you like tell us what you thought and how was the you know how was the writing, how yeah. was the score, how was the acting and the blah blah blah. And they how how'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> and you know it was a very supportive group, so okay. people were kind but still i i do have difficulty taking criticisms because i'm prone to getting defensive about like well (laughs) it was hard and it was with the resources were were non-existent or very minimal and blah 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 and i have excuses for days and i've convinced myself that i'm happy with like we did the best we could with what we had and and then when people say things i'm like Ugh. all right like i don't know is this even working is this even funny is this even good and i start losing confidence a little bit on what uh yeah like i i think about similarly it's like how do i get cast as a director for something that i'm not self-producing how how do people see me how do i put myself in a position where people believe i can do the thing that i believe i can do and how do i present that confidence and i can definitely go to that space of like maybe i'm maybe i'm just like a script supervisor (laughs) like maybe maybe i'm just i'm really good at supporting other people and i love supporting other people I'm like, maybe I don't have to do all the other stuff because I don't feel like I'm very good at it sometimes and I get into those spaces and, and it's hard to get out and I feel like I'm semi in a in a roller coaster of going through that right now hmm. with like what's next and and I'm even thinking about like, all right, uh, Trauma Days gets into a film fest and we are premiering it and I'm trying to think about like, 
just imposter imposter syndrome stuff like you know you're on the you're you're in front of the we're we're doing our q a at yeah. the at the screening and people are asking us oh my gosh how'd you make it and blah, blah. it's like oh does it look like we knew what we were doing like i didn't know what I, I don't even know if i knew what i was doing anymore so it's kind of i'm confidence is a big it's a big one for me right now it's uh yeah so i i feel you are you somehow on the lower end of confidence in this in this moment right now in this moment i'm on the lower end of confidence right now yeah well yeah <laughs> well you, you look good from right here <laughs> thank you thank yeah. you i know i know how to, i know how to bring it up for the uh <laughs> yeah, no, it's tough. It's tough. Especially like I'm thinking about similar to asking you about now you're going to head back into it. How are you thinking about it differently? Yeah. I'm thinking about the same stuff. It's like, all right, if I'm going to make the next one, what systems and processes and like what can I put in place so that way I feel healthy doing it? I'm doing it for the right reasons and, you know, I feel worthy of like this is, you know, this is for me and I'm excited to bring people on board but at the end of the day as long as i'm as long as i'm the uh you know it's it's all it's yeah having that self-confidence you know just, uh, all right, all right. yeah all right. Oh, just just trail up yeah yeah don't make me cry <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh is this uh no, i don't have to yet <clears throat> great whatever yeah. all right well we did it nice we and that's it. the uh no um <laughs> no thanks for the thanks for the Throwing it back my way there. Sure. Um, where were we? I think you're amazingly talented. Appreciate uh, it. So many different things. My God. Um, I'm just going to bring it back up since we just talked about going <laughs> right down to the ground. No, you're uh, you're great. I can't wait to see uh, your next. Yeah. Your next movie. Maybe we're cooking some stuff. Beautiful. We'll see. I don't I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. No, but it's exciting. It's exciting. These are these are these are the times. You know. Mm-hmm. You aren't always doing the thing that you say that uh, yeah. you're pushing for. So, okay. um, I'm trying to think about because we're talking about acting and the grind and that, but I guess maybe because I don't recall where I was going to go with it, let's jump into teasing people about the project that we put the most into recently together yeah. college holidays yeah. and i just want to tease a few things like let's start with some questions uh this one is uh, okay i don't know let's see how to start i don't because i don't want to spoil uh, we'll right. stay we'll stay away from spoilers okay but your character you play gregory yeah that's yeah can, what, can you talk about gregory a little no bit? <laughs> i mean can i or, i can or, can uh, we okay. talk about I guess so, yeah. Or I can lay some foundation. We can, I don't know. Yeah, cute. Come in. So what I was going to say is, because I have to practice my pitch on it too. Oh, know, okay. Like this is something I've been scrambling with a little bit. The movie follows a couple, Gregory and Matilda. They are kind of on this like ultimatum weekend getaway where... They're kind of their their main their main I'll call it objective of the Great. weekend is like, all right, at the end of the weekend, are we A kind of breaking up and ending this relationship, or B, are we going back home and moving in with each other? Yeah. It's kinda of like, are we moving in or is this it? Yeah. And that's kind of the 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 surface level foundational character stuff. And then the place that they go for their their ultimatum weekend is the small village town of Chama. Yeah. Which is a town that I grew up in as a kid. And for how long? I moved when I was like seven or eight. I was in second grade when I moved away. Okay. And to where? I moved to Reno. Reno, okay. Yeah, okay. Reno, Nevada-ish. I ended up getting to Reno. It's a, it's a whole thing. Okay. But yeah. Um, so it was cool going back home for me and going to my childhood space and yeah. utilizing the town it's lovely. The town is known for like there's a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> it's just you know the classic like small town folk. T- I feel like it's classic. I don't know if every town has this, but trauma being in New Mexico. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but there's rumors of like 
like even growing up, I don't, it's more of like after I moved growing up as an adult, I'd hear cousins talking about like, it's really weird going back into Chala, man. Like, have you been back lately? Like, it's like a time warp. Like the place hasn't changed in the last 30 years. Like going back there, it's like traveling back in time. This is cool. You did not say this to me before we made this movie. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I didn't, okay. No, this is new. This is new. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the space that inspired the, it's like, all right, well, if we're going to use Chama, let's kind of use some inspiration for the weirdness of it. And on top of that, like, as you learn kind of going through it too, like, I don't know, there's rumors, I don't know, there's like a town nearby that supposedly has like a government base, like a... Oh, six, yeah. It's got yeah, like yeah. six-story underground government base just outside of Chama. Mm-hmm. There's, there were a lot of weird aircrafts that we saw. Weird aircrafts, yeah. weird lights, weird, you know, are there aliens around the area? Maybe. And then also Sasquatch? Yeah. And also there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of history with Native American tribes in the area. And, and there's the tales of the shapeshifter. Um, what are those? The skinwalkers. Skinwalkers. Skinwalkers, skinwalkers yeah. Witches? Yes. I thought you said witch is, and then I was going to define. Witches as well. Um, so there's just so much yeah. to play with in Chama. It's like, which which direction do you want to go? Do you want to go sci-fi aliens? Do you want to go witchcraft? Do you want to go, you know, so we, we, went in a, we went in a certain direction. Yeah, we went with rom-com. <laughs> <laughs> so we threw in a, so eventually the couple gets sucked into some, some weird side stuff, like your character ends up kind of like, needing to prove his manhood and, and goes off into the woods for a night and, and encounters some crazy stuff out yeah. there while Matilda encounters some crazy sect of the town. and So we kind of, we, we, we wanted to go a little bit weird with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's... Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Trauma Days is like a, it's a... a, a and the psychological comedy. Psychological indie rom-com dramedy. Yeah. Uh with um with uh with the threat of a supernatural element. Can we say that? Maybe. <laughs> I won't even confirm or deny like it, some maybe something something's yeah. weird that's going on. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh so we So so what were we talking about? Just playing the guy or the pro, or like getting to 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 do it? Well, okay, I don't know. Let's <laughs> Let's talk. I don't know. Let's, I'm a fan of process. Yeah. So I want. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's give people okay. a little bit of foundation of how crazy this project yeah, was. Yeah, totally. I can. We. Can do that. It was 2021. The vaccine just came out. Yeah. Let's go even pre. Before that. Okay. I get a text from Eddie at some point that's just like a lie. Like, hey, we're kind of thinking about maybe doing a movie, maybe uh, during this time, maybe. Would you be down? And I said, yes. Uh, the only reason I think it's a lie is because I think it was definitely happening, right? Like, you were going to make this movie. You're just sort of, like, seeding this little... Yeah, okay. So, uh, we talked. Uh, you called well, I mean, me. if everybody said no. Then... Right. <laughs> then it would just be... you. But, yeah. I still feel like something would have happened. Yeah. Um, just with no one. But, um, well, everyone said yes. And we all said yes for, uh, for similar reasons, I bet. Because we were... We were, it was during the pandemic, like we were all locked up for so long. So, so vaccines were, they were coming out and the promise of being able to like work together in person, um, safely, safely. Yes. Was, uh, was real, you know, and, uh, that, that was, that was imminent. And I wasn't, I wasn't dicking around during COVID times. I have asthma. Uh, and I, I was a, I was like a hazmat suit. Uh, during that whole time, <laughs> and it was rough. Uh, so you know. Uh, anyway, uh, you called me. I'll go back even further. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to grab coffee. <laughs> oh yeah. And like the day before, the day of, you're like, "Sorry, dude, something came up, or blah blah, blah something happened, and we had to push like a week." Yeah. And then the lockdown <laughs> happened that week. Well, I think it was because I, I was like, I have a like sniffle. Years, yeah. yeah, exactly. I was like, I have a sniffle. I don't want to mess around right now because of the threat of this this COVID. And then, yeah, and then the lockdown happened. Right, so you got a text from me. Okay. I got a text from you. Um, just process. So process-wise, this is like, I don't know. This is actually one of the coolest processes ever. You called me before the script was uh, 
I don't know if you were writing it or what, like it was, it was not completed yet or maybe even not even started. And you called and you were just talking about themes and relationships and right. Something like that. And just, and fears and stuff. Yeah. And then, and basically the next call was like, it's happening. (laughs) We're we're going to make this movie. Um, And then you, uh, Eddie and, and Bo, you guys wrote something pretty fast. Uh, and part of the pitch was that just we as actors were going to be filling in some of these blanks, uh, kind of doing like a third draft on, on the script while it was being shot, uh, which excites the hell out of me. Uh, I have a lot of, um, I have a big love for like Im- improvising and stuff. Uh, so I don't know. I was super excited about that. And that's that's basically what happened. We showed up and shot this movie in Chama, New Mexico, all together in this house uh, and in the surrounding areas. Um, and a lot of the scenes we sort of had to, we had to find and fill in, um, as, as we were going, there there were rewrites happening, monologues were being thrown at me like 20 minutes before we were going to go shoot it. Uh, and that was, uh, it was just, you know, that's fucking thrilling. And, um, you know, and so we're playing, uh, you you were, there's an element of not rom-com, but there's a, it's a relationship, uh, drama. I guess, underneath the comedy and the supernatural and all that. So getting to play uh, getting to play in a world where we're grounded, sort of. <laughs> like we're trying, we, the, the um, bending genre and that exact tone that you found is, is one of my favorite places to play. Uh, to tr- like you got your feet on the ground, it is real for the characters. Uh, but then as soon as you're in the audience, you're watching this thing and it's just bananas. Uh, and I, I was excited to dive into that. Um, and, you know, terrified, whatever. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, I had somewhere I was going to go with that and I forgot. But I know, me, that was, I was so absorbed. <laughs> yeah. Because um, what I'm thinking about, I guess, to add context to the ask here. Sure. Yeah, because the initial, I was inspired by another filmmaker's method on how they made their movie, and um, that was yeah, that was my initial pitch to you was, hey, we might just be making this movie off of an outline, oh, and this yeah. might just be bullets, and like we're literally gonna experiment with improving the scenes and just kind of building the story beat by beat, almost going maybe in story order and just yeah. blasting through an outline. But then, speaking of confidence, I was like, I don't really feel like that's not an that's not a, that's not. A, I mean, I love the idea of There's that. No guarantee of that. I love the idea yeah. of that, but that seems very. I was too much. There was so much risk on it. And I was just like, all right, well, me and Bo, yeah, we'll come up with the outline, and then let's at least put some draft on the page, and then yeah, we were, we were able to get it to a place where I'm like, all right, this is. I feel. Let's. We actually have dialogue. We actually have stuff in place. Yeah. And also, uh, we shoot in a week, so here it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it, it was fun handing it off. I mean, yeah. the the timeline was very rushed. So, from my perspective, um, same. So either way, yeah. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. I mean, like it's hard to prep fully um, without the gift of time, you know. Uh, so because of that, I allowed myself to you know to for me and the character to sort of meet in the middle a little bit you know you just bring a lot of your own isms sometimes this has to be done you you bring in a lot of your own isms and um and fears and just find you you know meet meet in the when when something is uh i don't want to say your script wasn't done or the character wasn't done but it was like we were we were cooking it you know we were all cooking it together so like when when it's just a bunch of ingredients you kind of throw in your own and um and thanks for allowing that also and and encouraging it um i hope yeah uh, yeah good yeah, things no, yeah sure. that was the whole that was the whole bit um because i know a lot of the times you would do something you're like is that too weird and i'm like more <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm like that's great can, what what can we actually go further in that direction yeah i'm liking what yeah <clears throat> but i'm thinking about like even a, a small element which i kind of wanted to touch on here was um, early in the writing phases, I don't know how this happened, but you were like, "Hey, uh, I'm down to 
kind of grow out my beard for this. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah. Well, I know why because we were. Oh wait, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, can we talk about anything? I don't know. We can try, and I can always cut it later. Okay. You know, yeah, I love the, that. You know. I love that. Can you also cut out all the bad bits from earlier from me? No. Let me no. drink this coffee real quick. Uh, so I uh, no. Um, what we were talking about. There's this element of. Um, it's, it's a spoiler. I mean, it's not. There is there's an element of of time, uh, skipping forward, maybe. Uh, uh, some weird surrealism of some kind. Yeah, yeah, and like whether that's actually happening or it's in the characters' heads, that's for you to decide when you watch it. Uh, there was that was introduced to to me, and then I I sort of was half joking. I, I said like I, my beard, I have kind of a beard right now, and like it'd be fun to shoot shoot the beard, shave the beard, then shoot no beard, and and just use that. Uh, to show time progressing, and then we got to do it. I was like, "We're doing it." Yeah, yeah, I, and I, yeah, I completely and I, thought that. It, I remember seeing you at some point. No, I didn't see you. What I'm talking about. It was maybe like a a vert of Zoom read, maybe. and I was like, "You shaved your beard," and you're like, "We got three weeks, <laughs> and we're good." And I was like, oh, "Okay, good." And you showed up with the full beard. We well, got three um, weeks. Yeah. Uh, I guess the point of all of that was to say that. Um, let me pull out the question here. Yeah. Um, it's more along the lines of like, speaking of character and, and development and not having much time to build, not only did you not have much time, but the stuff that we started with, because the way that movies work is oh, being, yeah. you have to grow the beard and yeah. then we have to shoot the scenes yeah. with the beard Basically first. day one, this was, it was frightening. Days one and two were like the most emotionally exhaustive like parts of the film and uh the climax even um i guess yeah a, a, an emotional climax for sure we, we had to shoot um immediately like we landed in chama uh you know 5 p.m on day zero and then we slept and then day one begins and we're shooting um the the, the big fight. We're shooting the big climax of, of the film. And I have this big gnarly beard. Had to dive into the weirdest scenes. Uh, I Possibly in the film, you know. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and we just had to go for it. And I don't know how I did that. I, I don't even know. I, uh, I remember you saying before, too, that there was an element of, like, in hindsight, that you were thankful that those scenes came up first. Because there was you didn't have an opportunity yet to really... <laughs> attach yourself to who these people even were around you like yeah. who's the sound guy and who's who's this guy pointing the camera at me and, yeah. and you just kind of like got to go to that crazy place yeah without i don't know because you were saying maybe there's an element of when you're closer to the crew i don't know like there's well i don't know at, okay I'm yeah sure, sure i mean there's way, there's but. uh it is like it, you could go either way because it could be i'm so comfortable now with everybody Let's get weird. But at the same time, um, you know, there's this, there's like two kinds of ways to be on set when you're acting. And one is, uh, it's fun to be there. Like, I want to know everybody. But if there's some emotional scene that's coming up, sometimes you have to go in a corner and be super antisocial uh, and just try to go find this darkness or whatever and, uh, you know, and not really talk to anybody and be aloof. Uh, and I got to do that. Before I knew anybody, so it was it was sort of easier to do that, I, I suppose. Um, I also think that it was cool that it, it set a tone for the whole show that we got to um, like we went big immediately, you know, and uh, and and we like I don't know, we just we took some big swings like on day one, so it was I was less afraid throughout the rest of the process to do that, and not only that, I I also know okay i've i've done this giant thing so now i have a goal in my head that like i need to do really small stuff uh for certain other scenes just to add, that, variety. to add that contrast between yeah shaved gregory and bearded gregory. exactly yeah his <laughs> bearded gregory's a madman <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 what was that like for you shooting the climax of the movie first for me yeah i remember our first shot of the movie is that, I don't even know if that's the first shot. I think it was just, just always weird on day one being like, all right, um, 
how do we make a movie again? <laughs> It's like, wait, because uh, we didn't have, like, I didn't have a, a proper assistant director. I was kind of essentially right. my own my own AD. So I, I remembered the jitters of, like, like, just even for me, like, watching the monitor and being like, like, wait, we're here making it. And what yeah. am I even looking for? Yeah. And, but yeah, going, going big early, that was, it, w- it was fun getting the, uh, getting to see that stuff I don't know what to say specifically about it but it was lovely it was lovely because i didn't know what to expect like i knew i knew i trusted my team and i was just excited to see what it was going to look like and i was happy with what i was seeing and it was like all right it's happening everybody yeah. all right yeah. hey bo uh, can you change that monologue for the first <laughs> we're yeah. gonna throw spencer a new monologue here good times um yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for questions yeah. here. Well, I think the word is because we kind of we're kind of teasing it a little bit, but at times we don't. At times in the movie, you go, you get a little. We'll call it unhinged. Yeah. How how does that work for you, or what's um it's what do you mean because there was two i mean there's uh on one hand we're i'm I'm in this relationship that is to some degree dysfunctional uh and we're we're not we're not connecting we both want something different uh and that leads to uh you know whatever conflict like we 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 argue in in the film and there's a lot of like pent up uh like anger and emotions because i'm not expressing myself uh properly so there is this really grounded, relatable, unhinged that happens, which is, is uh, I guess, frankly, harder um, to do. You know, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're just having like a, a couple like are arguing hard. Uh, and then there's uh, and then there's the other one where I'm literally losing my mind uh, in the woods. And, um, and I don't I don't want to spoil it, but it is uh, that's that just goes sort of like batshit um super surreal in certain certain places that's easier to do than the grounded stuff for me okay. yeah for me yeah um i don't know why i guess you know i don't know because the truth is the truth's hard it's it's hard to do that uh you know um that makes sense yeah okay I lost my train of thought again. Too. We were talking. About, we were about. talking about uh, unhinged. What, what did you mean by unhinged? Were you? Were you did which yeah, one of those I did you mean? The, I guess it was different levels. I was more thinking about the the easier variation. Yeah. Okay. Because, so like going out in the woods and losing my mind. Yeah. But yeah. I guess, like you said, like day one was more of the uh, the semi truth unhinged yeah. with. Um, well, even later we had you know there's a whole scene where we're just in a restaurant and we're. And we're and we're fighting. It's happening. We're finally. It's the. It's almost like the the reality version of the, of the climax of the film, like the the reality version of the big fight. Um, and that was hard as hell. That was that was so. Um, I don't know. That was that was hard. I, I, there was a big build up to that, and I was nervous about it. Um, you. Uh, <laughs> um, Great. Yeah. How would you feel about the let's 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 throw a little um shout out to uh Cora Chung. Oh my god. Our yeah composer. I'm glad you you brought her up. Yeah, how do you how, yeah, what thoughts there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to tease? Yeah, sure. Um I'm a huge movie score nerd. Uh I I listen. I I just I have favorite composers. I have playlists of scores. It's when I'm diving into a script, I'm just listening to instrumental stuff in the background, you know. And um, and my God, does she bring the whole film uh, t- together? It's so good. I want that soundtrack to be on Spotify so that I can listen to it. Um, when we did our our friends and family cast and crew uh, screening of the film many months ago, at this point. Um, I 
this dude, I was just thinking about this actually. Um, that <laughs> I I'm like I can't do those screenings. Like I can't even. I uh, that was I I was gonna die. Like I uh, that was panic attack level. Like I almost didn't go. You know, and I'm like showing up and I'm happy to see everybody. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, I might walk out of this theater, dude. I might not be able to make it. Uh, and then whatever, we sat down, the lights went. <laughs> the lights go dark. And now, you know, and so did my heart. Just darkness. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't even know. I can't feel my arms or legs. I'm blacking out. And then fucking Cora's score comes on. And I, it just like lifted me to this, I'm like, oh, we're good. I'm good. But normally it takes me like, uh, if I'm, I've had to, I had to watch myself in a couple different features and shorts on a, on a, like a big screen. And it has taken a third of the film for me to like relax into it and actually enjoy myself. For Chama Days, it was, it was like 0.5 seconds of just hearing Cora's score. I'm a huge fan of, of, of hers, to be honest. And, um. Yeah, I don't know. It saved me, dude. And then I got to enjoy the whole movie. Like, how great. (laughs) Lovely. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I know she was experimenting with, like, I know she played with, um, we have some uh, owl themes, like wilderness, like we talk about the forest. Yeah. And I know, I love how she's taken, like, bird chirps and bird noises and kind of experimenting with all that space. So I think it opens up with, like, the sound of like circling birds and all this kind of stuff going <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want it. I want the soundtrack. Give me the vinyl. It's gonna happen. Okay. So I don't know about the vinyl, well, but we'll see. We'll make it happen. We'll print you. Uh, yeah, that um, that really tied it all up for me. I loved it. There's, it's so. Um, also, I, I just I love that it it remains eerie uh, throughout the whole the whole movie, even underneath the comedy. Uh, it, I don't know. It's brave. It's good. Yeah, that was that was something that her and I talked a lot about was she was playing in the early days with different sounds and yeah. she was like you know, like almost she's like I tried this kind of general comedy score and it works and I tried this really dramatic score and it, and it works and I tried this score and it works. So like she's like so she was in those conversations with me talking about like how to because it's already like we, it's comedy is a big enough aspect of the movie that she gave me the confidence too that we don't have the score doesn't have to play into the comedy for the comedy to come through, yeah, yeah, and to let the score just make it add to that weirdness. I love the genre bend, and I love, um, I love that the commute, the music just commits to the bit. Of the of the drama, you know, and like we, yeah, we got to be the funny part, and that's good. So I hope you got to watch it soon, everybody. I hope <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> yeah. Release this again <laughs> after the movie comes out. Yeah, buy your tickets now. Pre-order. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. <laughs> I want to jump into. I don't know. Okay. Let's let's talk about a little bit about the future. Oh God. Okay. The question is, you talked a little bit already about getting back into grind, but outside of that, sure. I'm curious about, we can talk about myself too here. Yeah. I don't know if I have answers for this question, but I can try on, on live here in front of you. Let's do it. About like what's next. Hmm. I usually save this for like close to the end of the, of, uh, of an episode, but I want to, I have some follow-ups to it. Great. Um, Kind of like goals. I'll throw out all the questions out front and just okay. see what happens. Yeah. Like how do you how do you decide what you're gonna do, and then how do you get yourself to do it? Because we can talk about we didn't mention it before, but you have like your web series. Oh Hollow yeah, Wieners. I should plug that. Yeah, Halloweeners. Yeah. Find it on YouTube. Yeah. Many episodes, clips. That's my baby. Yeah, yeah. that's your baby. Yeah. And I know that you, you do have the ability to, you have self-produced and you do have the editing chops and you do have people that you know that are down to make stuff and whatnot. But how, yeah, all those questions. So how do I decide what to do and how do I do it? Yeah. Um, you know, oh, oh God. Time. 
how do I decide what to do? I don't feel like I have, I feel like most times I don't have, um, it's not like I have like a stack of scripts, like, and I can pick one. So it's, it's usually like, here's an opportunity. Is it worth it? You know, so I decide with the with a pros and cons list. Honestly, like uh, that, that's that's part of it. And it's well, like, I, can, can I afford to do this? Is is always yeah. I mean, I that. guess even outside of <clears throat> the scripts that are coming from the outside. Yeah. The oh, okay. Like we're for yourself for myself. Too. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I um, or even just life outside of that too. Yeah. Like when I'm writing something, um. So like right now, one of one of my goals is to. So I have I have a uh, for for those who who do not know, I I write um, and often direct, and usually always edit um, and uh, act in a web series, a, a comedy horror series called The Halloweeners. Uh, we're on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram, um, it, the internet. And uh, it, it's, uh, it is a great source of joy um, for me, uh, and it, but it is a very specific um, comedic style that for whatever reason just sort of pours out of me. Uh, and I'm able to like process different anxieties I have like through the humor in the show. Um, and I love Halloween and horror stuff, so I get to do, you know, live in that world as well. Um, but I have a goal to sort of like break out of that, you know. I have like a whole universe in my head of uh, of different, just different things to talk about, or different ways to talk about the same things, I suppose. Um, so that's sort of that's sort of a goal. I have like a couple of short films that I've um, written and almost completed. Um, what was it? How do I decide? <laughs> I guess how how I I um I, yeah yeah whether it's like all right because I don't because you have your freelance life yeah man yeah I've work there's the survival of living in Los Angeles yeah and then there's the pursuit of the continued pursuit of the creative journey of of yeah of of the actor yeah and then there's the aspects of being an actor that. <clears throat> You know, the classic advice that they always talk about is go make your own stuff and yeah. put yourself out there and you yeah. need to update your reel. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And there's a lot, there's just like, I mean, I look at my reel and there's not, um, or I look at my, you know, I had, you have to constantly, you're pulling clips of stuff that you've done in the past. And, uh, and when you look at them in a row, it's kind of strange because sometimes, like recently, I'm like, I don't, this doesn't really represent me very well uh and like what i'm good at what i have to offer uh as an actor um i think trauma days on the whole does but i can't that's not the you know yeah well, like watch, just watch, what, the feature. watch the watch the feature but uh you know like all the clips in a row i'm like i'm missing i'm like missing the thing i'm missing what like the serial comedy dialogue heavy uh lacrimose fucking still funny sort of vibe that I really want to do. So I, that's just, I just write it. Then the, you know, that's, that's like the impetus to write. It's, it's always to create something for myself to do. Not to say that I don't have something to say as a, as a writer. Um, Cause I guess there is an alternate universe where I would just hand it off to other people yeah. to do it and interpret it. Um, but yeah. You write to act. Yeah. I write, I write, I write to, to act, yeah, to, to I, tell stories, to give myself a, a, a an opportunity to, you know, tell the kind of story that I want to tell. Yeah, because I write, I write to direct. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. I don't feel like I'm the best writer. <laughs> I have questions for you about writing. That. that... Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so getting back to how you decide what to do, like, have you thought about, like, yeah, like we're we're in April now. Yeah. Of 2023 is that Fuck. correct yeah um <laughs> what uh, <laughs> yeah how do you like think just thinking about this year are you have you do you what's yeah what have you decided what's in front that you're what i want to get done this year yeah and that you're aiming toward and how did you come to that that conclusion 
or or maybe sort of, dude, sort of. Um, there's two shorts that I want to make uh, and act in. Uh, there's two, just because they're like one of them is just is written, and then the other one is um, kind of based on an emotional experience that just happened to me. Um, so I, you know, I just I want to do that just to do it. Uh, I, I don't. There's not. I don't have a better reason than that. Um, you know, and then like I I I think in general it's super vague, man. In in general, I just want to make sure that I'm I'm doing more uh, art like for, for myself uh, this year than I was last year than I was the year before. That's like that's the that's the vague like cowardly answer. Be more art. For yourself, yeah, and for the world or whatever, but like for, for uh, the world, it's I, I'm finding like uh, you know, 2021 surprisingly was um, there was a, a fair amount of art uh, that that happened, like stuff I got to participate in. Uh, 2022 was sort of just dead, and a lot of it was um, weird survival time. Like uh, yeah, our cinematographer uh, Max Goldberg, yeah. I was chatting with him about 2022. <laughs> I think I told you this too. He's like, nothing yeah, burger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I couldn't burger. agree more. Yeah. And it was, it was almost like, I'm like, why do I feel like I'm, it just felt like I was just catching up on survival stuff from like the past couple of years. So now I'm in this weird like space where I'm, I'm sort of okay on the survival front, you know? So I'm, uh, I'm able to hopefully produce some stuff, uh, you know, and it, it's there, but my habits are, are just survive, you know? Uh, some, some bigger goals I have, like, I have a, a few producible feature ideas, you know, that I've, I've just sort of listed them out and now I'm trying to get smart with like, yeah, but which one of these do I have any sort of like location resources for, you know, that sort of stuff, uh, before I commit, you know, before I, before I give that a shot, but yeah, uh, to, to, to write, uh, a feature for myself is, is, um, is a goal. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm thinking more specifically because that's an actionable thing. You don't really need anybody else to do. Yeah. That's 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 lovely to have those. Versus like the I know for me <laughs> <sighs> Awesome. No, I was more thinking about like um how I'm I want to go back to the drawing board on my twenty twenty three. Okay. <laughs> Elaborate. <laughs> Uh, I had I had a goal earlier in the year potentially with like you know it'd be nice to have a I was, I was like you know get let's get a, f- a feature greenlit this year like yeah. I don't have to be on set shooting it this year but yeah. like I mean that'd be bonus points but having something grab find the budget for it and lining out shooting that and prepping for that I'm trying to do like the okay symbol would be lovely. Um, but then I'm like, the script, I don't know, it's just, there, there's just some things that have happened with potential collaborators that aren't going the way that, like, the, the it feels like external thingies that I'm like, well, kind of lost a little steam on that. I was like, uh, I don't, it's not really on my radar anymore. I'm like, well, I should, I do have a hard time moving forward with, out a to-do list like i'm a very to-do list guy yeah and if i don't have a year like with a month by month timeline yeah locked up okay. to be like do this by here and do this by here and and at the end it's uh this thing is done like i don't have anything for myself yet for that so i need a I, okay I, pseudo you know i don't i'm not good at that and i've always been fascinated how good you are at that so is it just that you hit a wall and you're like okay this isn't working i need to reset this whole thing Kind of. I mean, it's also, there, there's the different things. Like, let's say with, with my first feature, it's what's on the inside, and then followed by Trauma Days, the projects that I have made yeah. and have directed have been, I'll just say, for the lack of a better term, rushed. And I would love to see what a story looks like if I gave the time to it. Gotcha. So it's like, well, let's take away the urgency of getting something done this year. Yeah. and. What does a story look like? Let's like take the step. What is the story I want to tell? Yeah. How do I tell a story better? This is exactly my question for you. What stories do you want to tell? Where do they come from, dude? Like where? Uh, like, 
you don't have to get too personal with it, but like, where does something like Chama Days come from, or it's what's on the inside uh, come from, or any of the short films? Like, what do you, um, where, where do all the themes come from? <clears throat> I know, uh, what was the, I just made another short film recently. I'm thinking about like our, our, what had happened was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and even, and even, um, a short film called Happy Birthday, which isn't isn't out yet, but should be coming soon. Have themes of like bad roommates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So similar as like therapy, yeah. kind of working through like those interactions. Yeah, totally. And kind of making fun of some of the things they've said, or uh, some of those some of those things. I know for for trauma days, I, like for it's what's on the inside. I'm. This is something I'm trying to work on too. Is I normally go with what are the ingredients I have to play with. Yeah. It's like, all right, well, we have the space and we have these actors. Yeah, you're like reverse engineering. Your yeah, film. I'll like, reverse yeah. engineer, and then me and Bo will kind of talk about like, well, it'd be nice to, you know, the thing that like for Chama Days that was interesting to me at the time was the dynamic of the conversations that are happening about. What does it mean to be a man in a relationship and a woman in a relationship and how it's, you know, those, it depends on who you ask and and that was an interesting kind of thought to explore in that with, and that's how we design the characters and that's where there's, there's this, this, there's this kind of pendulum shift of, (laughs) of the, the woman being more confident and masculine in ways sure. than the guy she's dating <laughs> so exploring stuff like that sure um but i yeah i know i try to be more intentional about when i'm l- watching a movie to like what themes are resonating and how i'm feeling and that kind of hmm. gives confidence to stuff that i'm thinking but as far as like what i want to tackle next i know i've been thinking a lot about more outwardly world stuff. Like I know tribalism has been a thing for me with just how communities like the us versus them and the, and the finding our place in the world and finding like, where do, where do we feel safe? And then how do we feel safe? But then also why, why is there this theme in humanity where there's always something that we have to, be against for us to feel at home and yeah. oh we don't like those people but we're at home where we are yeah and stuff like i don't know I'm just it's deep that's yeah, super it's super deep so i need to do more thoughts on that but yeah. um some, uh, i don't know i had like a dramatic experience um with someone i was dating and uh it, there was a, it was a dramatic experience Involved a car, some wilderness, uh, <laughs> a bit of an accident, rain, the threat of death. Um, not really death, but well, no, actually, no, that threat was there. Anyway, it was, it was, it was slightly harrowing, um, uh, <laughs> and uh, it caused like, like a, kind of like a rough month from my, of my life afterwards. Like there was just this rough like aftermath, and then. Um, there was just like a day that I was I was just showering and then I started laughing uncontrollably and uh, a short film just like poured out. That's where my shit comes from. <laughs> like literally like a, uh, some bullshit experience maybe or or even just like s- some random sentence that somebody said and then uh, almost like a bit will just like, I don't know. It's like just a form of like processing it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It is less deep than what you just said. <laughs> Well, I try. I I know for like, let's say, happy birthday. That one was inspired by a text exchange that I had. Okay. And I think I was recounting it to somebody else, and they're like, "That's, that's a, a that's, that's a, a short movie. that's a short film." There. That's cool. And I was like, "I guess." <laughs> and then, coming off of a feature that I ad'd for, I was desperate to be in the director chair for like the I'm gonna die if I don't yeah do something yeah, soon because yeah. I'm I'm forgetting how to make a movie because I was in such a environment that was like throwing me all over the place um then i was like i want to direct something and i'm i'm not one to really keep short film scripts around like it's like all right well let's just write it and make it 
And yeah. that was just like, all right, this text exchange, let's, let's put it down on paper. Let me send it to somebody. Oh, you like, yeah, all right, let's make it. But, yeah, I don't nice. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about you. <laughs> okay, let's get back to these notes and these questions. Let's talk about you. <laughs> all right, I want to, uh, let's see. This, okay. This is going to be like a weird, I'm going to ask it very vaguely because I like to ask vague questions and then I'll okay. hyper focus it. But uh, let me just ask it and start with what are your, do you, yes. how, what's your relationship like with confidence? Oh, low, bad, <laughs> confidence. With Let's talk about specifically Let's just keep it in the vein of like acting. Okay. Um, yeah. I've had to talk about this recently a little bit. I like my like self confidence uh, and uh, what's what's self esteem. Yeah, it's that is a low. That's like an in the negatives on the regular, <laughs> and like to do so a lot of times like getting um, whatever, attaboys approval, um, do, Word, words of affirmation, words affirmation, yeah, affirmation. Like doing like when the product is released and people like it, that's like it brings me up to like zero, you know. And then I <laughs> then I just try to keep it there, uh, but in terms of like. In terms of acting, there's so many times when I like, I I, I question, oh god, like I look at something from like two years ago, and I'm like, what the fuck? Well, Trauma Days was two years ago. <laughs> I, dude, I know, but like, that's what I mean. I'm like, what? But I, uh, t- I I just watched it. It's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> kidding, I did all right. Uh, but the, uh, well, I mean, time is weird right now. So I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, time is weird. But uh, I don't know, dude. In general, um, I don't know. Confidence is low. Auditioning is terrifying. Uh, showing up to set is like, like I don't have. I know this. I know that I will work hard. I know that I'll. Um, I know that I'll, I'll. I'll prep. I think in my heart, I know that I can. Um, you know, like most scenes, like I can. I can handle it. Like I can. I can show up, and I can. I can listen and respond like i have i have that confidence but i i never feel like i'm the right person for the job uh if that makes any sense you know what is that maybe that's imposter syndrome i don't know maybe maybe so i am thinking about how when i look at you on set like this is just on set too like i don't get to see you in the moments before or the drive over or any of that stuff yeah commonly (laughs) so yeah I'm just thinking yeah. about when you're on set, you seem like you have it together. That's so funny, dude. That's so yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, where you you feel conf- you look like you're confident in the space. Like when we did the we we shot a, a little like concept piece. Yeah. For a project that I hope to make one day. Oh, the thing we just shot. Yeah, the thing we yeah. just shot. And your your ears are always open like you're like you're on standby. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. But you're present and you're like reading a, another script that you're kind of just burning time with on the side yeah. while you wait for, you, for your moments. For my bit. And then like we didn't have necessarily like a script. It was just kind of throwing stuff out and all right. Um, but yeah, when you show up, it feels like you feel confident in what you're bringing and you have like go to hmm. expressions and voices and you kind of like all right we're doing this and you kind of get into a a space and you do you do what you do and i don't that's interesting i i uh i mean like the truth of it is like it's i it's not confidence if if i'm lucky it's presence you know like if i am actually present uh then then it's just happening like i don't have time to not there's you know it's like you're almost like the, the confidence is just it's not even a thought anymore just like doing the thing uh which i which i I love, and on that particular day, I, I still don't know if I was doing anything good for you. Like to be honest, I th- that I felt that was like a drive home later. Like, oh my god, I hope that was good. I don't know uh-huh. uh, how to go. Is it all right? Well, I'm, I'm I'm still playing with it. I don't know. That's a whole. Other, I'm, sure, sure, sure. Um, that's, uh, that's 
more that's more me, yeah me. i do think i don't know i i do um there is there is a there there is to some degree i feel very at home on a set and i love sitting on the side listening to whatever's happening i'm fascinated by crew and i i just love that's like my favorite r- sound in the world is just to hear people mm-hmm. talk about you know setting up a shot or whatever um yeah and i don't know I like to be ready, like for so I like to anticipate, like oh, I think I'm coming up. Let me sit here on deck and start to prepare or whatever. But uh, I don't know, man. It's a facade. I'm not okay. Zero confidence, I'd say usually. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to think about like the journey of you and <laughs> your acting journey and kind yeah. of going back to early days, early days versus yeah. now and like where there cause, was. Uh, cause, it was, was an audacity I had in the early days that I miss. An audacity. An audacity. Yes. Like, Tell me more. I've been thinking about this. I uh, in my um, the bulk of my twenties was spent in a theater company. It was like eight years of my life. The middle four were good. The first two and the last two were shit. But the uh, the middle four were good, and we did. Um, I don't know. We just did so much. There was so much theater happening, so much like underdeveloped scripts, uh, so many reasons why I should be like petrified. Uh, 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 um, and for some reason, I, I just I made like massive choices. Like I was so much quicker to jump to like an accent or like a you know like a dialect, which now I'm like it that petrifies me. And there was just something about being like 22 where I could just. I don't know why the fuck I just like did it It, like zero hesitation. Uh, uh, You know, even when I was like scared, I I don't even, I don't, I don't know what it is. So there's just this audacity that I miss uh, from, from the early days for sure. Um, Yes. No, I was waiting for you to say something. I was going to say, all right. um, Prior to the audacity. Yeah. So before that, what how did you how how did i become an actor yeah like maybe maybe sure. maybe come <laughs> i'm just i'm just trying to imagine if, if you were talking about i don't know if this this was probably before we were rolling here but maybe. the jitters god yeah of like the pre-show jitters mm-hmm. theater specifically yeah like yeah. if that's always been a thing or if that left at a certain point. No, or... it's always a thing. Yeah. I, uh, uh, if anything, it just gets worse for some, like what, I don't know why there are certain things I think in life that just get worse and worse and you just manage them better and better. And one of the things is like, <laughs> like the pre-show jitters, I've seen it with other actors. It's like, no, I don't know. Never mind. I can't definitively say this is always a thing. I've seen it with other actors where it just gets worse. Uh, and they continue to, to do the, the, the craft, you know, they continue to do it. Um, I had a buddy like before a show that says like, I don't need to do a cleanse, just do a play. And he's just constantly just, just pre-show shits. Cause he's so fucking nervous. Like, it's so crazy. Like it, it, it like, and you know, and I look at that, I'm like, oh, I, I, see, I, see. I hope I can calm myself down. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, like sometimes feels like, um. I'm I'm nanoseconds away from a full on panic attack, uh, so that I can go do the thing that I love doing more than anything else in the world. It it, it uh, yeah I don't know to some degree it's it's gotten uh, it's gotten worse. I don't know if that's what you wanted to hear. I guess I'm curious to hear about at what point did you feel confident in at least knowing that this was the direction you wanted to go. Yeah, and that that you kind of at the at the even the fundamental stage like you're like i know how to do it and i know what i'm doing and i feel confident in myself as an actor to do this thing like how long did that take to develop or it was kind of naturally like i i don't know i was just like a uh i liked to entertain um as as a as a youth uh being like humor and comedy was like a survival tactic um in high school um, theater was an escape in, in high school. Um, but I didn't, I, I don't know. I just had like, I had a, I had a couple of good professors in college that, you know, taught me how to actually act kind of like, they 
built the foundation and then and then um and then I joined this theater company uh in LA and I had a couple like really solid directors in a row that just broke me um <clears throat> that like in uh like that movie Whiplash man like it like just got to me I I no longer had they broke they took away all the confidence and then they put back you know a, a actual um skill set I I guess you know so it's, it'd be like early early 20s just doing theater like not even not even school you know like it was uh it's just literally happening in front of an audience uh I was just like learning how to just learning the craft of it and the the search for emotional truth um yeah yeah and the mission and like and never being satisfied you know if you're doing like a 10 week run of like a theater show you're still working uh on the 10th week still trying to find the you know the the, yeah. the the truth right and yeah and then where yeah where did it did it come from the directors or where did you have castmates that could kind both of, yeah sure yeah that would be like yeah the, i like, mean that theater company was like family uh you know yeah um but yeah there were, yeah i had i had i had directors that like i felt like i was doing the thing <laughs> you know and I'd, I'd finish rehearsal and i'd be like ah yeah i did it and then they, you know, the director would come over and, um, th- it like in an unhealthy way, you know, some of these guys, it would just be like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, what was that? Y- you know, like I'd get phone calls. I had this one guy, I had this one person that I'm so grateful for, but also like, I don't, I don't agree with the methods, um, would call me the next morning, you know, so I'm like waking up. Like a stress call here. A stress call and just destroy me, um. It was for real. It was like whiplash, you know. It was just like it was just trying to get me to like own, just to push harder, you know. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. What's the preferred? You know. What's the I mean, while we're there? How Not would you? Pref- how would you prefer to be interacted with? So I can take some notes too. Oh man, you do a good job. I well, I, I do like. I, uh, I don't. <sighs> Positive reinforcement is great. Negative reinforcement sometimes works during the process. But when we're already doing the thing, you know, like you got like a 4K camera six inches from my face. It's like, you know, you do it well. Like it's 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 nurturing like a, a, it's creating a safe space like so that you could so the mistakes are OK, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then when, when so okay, but pro- had- process wise, I love. Um, I don't. I you know. I don't. I mean, I don't like when people are are dicks. Like I. I just. I think that's never. I think that's never okay. However, I am very much. Uh, I'm just. I'm never satisfied, if, um, and I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. I, I think uh, it. It can be rough, um, and and. I guess potentially unhealthy, but like art- artistically, I'm I'm just I'm never going to be 100 percent satisfied with like what I'm doing or what I'm putting out there, uh, and sometimes that just leads to just working harder. Yeah, I mean perfection is probably unattainable. I think so. so yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what's dissatisfying to the performance, <sighs> right? Is this not perfect? Yeah. Well, because I know I know something that I I guess I've observed that you like, and I try to. This is something I want to get better at too. Is it's called just the direction that that we give as directors <laughs> it being um because i feel like after watching a take and sometimes they go for minutes you can forget as the director when you're watching it like all right what did i want to tweak and like that was or that was good how how can i make it better like i'm already liking the direction you go but how do i punch this and punch this and i have to really like i know you really appreciated it with like all right let's let's remember that and I want some more confusion when she yeah. mentions like something, and then you're like, okay, yeah. okay, for that beat specifically, and then you then you do it, and you but. yeah, I love. Uh, I mean, I love Pretty knowing simple. that there's an editor. <laughs> you know, like I, I as much as I love doing like, you know, we're just doing the truth and we're doing our scene and what happens happens. I love. I literally like having you tell me faster like i something super technical uh the emotions completely separate from it um you know because it's a it's a it's a a big it's a movie it's a whole it's a super technical thing 
Um, I like technical notes like that. I love um, even just being like I don't know funnier. I I'll, I I like one word notes like that. I know some actors uh, hate it because it breaks kind of the the connection and the reality. But um, I don't know. I, I love that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I'm trying to, we have to, all right, I don't know what to. How are we doing? We're doing great. We, all we're, right. we're pretty much there. Um, What do I want to end on here? We talked yeah. about what's coming next. We talked about some process, a little bit of theater. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's end with a, let's end with, this is going to be a little bit of a quicker one. Okay. But and it's probably not a quick question. It's called Acting. Acting. Being an actor in Los Angeles, you've been you've been at it for a bit in different on and off. Yeah, yeah well, yes, yeah. yeah, so you've done screen stuff, you've done theater stuff. Yeah, I want to talk about being an actor, and we we're kind of teasing it before, but how friendship plays into life and also the culture of what we do, yeah. and like how you see friendship and the creative and how that overlaps or how it how you how you maybe maybe you do separate it like i don't know how do you how do you i dude it? i uh okay so i the web series that i do uh is with two of the people that i love most like on earth they're two of my best friends ever uh and there are chunks of time where we are not actually hanging out. We are only doing the creative thing. Uh, so we have to like make sure that we're going to movies together also, or like meeting to have dinner, like outside like of like Renaissance uh, fair or going to the Ren fair. Yeah. Whatever it is. Like, uh, sometimes it's like, we have to make that a priority and I can feel it. I can, I can feel like, okay, we're just, all we do is Halloweeners, you know, and, and that's starting to be like the only way we're actually speaking to each other is like through dialogue. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, that's, it's like almost okay. Like I, I, we, cause we're, we're on set, like building and making this thing. And it's just this, that is like an extension of, of our friendship. Like literally it's, you know, we work in this really crowded little, space and sometimes like I'm holding a boom mic while I'm pretending to be standing somewhere else talking and uh, it just like the way that we're holding equipment and helping each other out um I don't know there's just there's so much love like in um just like setting up a c stand uh <laughs> and and like making sure that each other that we look good on camera together and uh yeah so sometimes it's just yeah it's just all a blend and like me and you like we've hung out like five times <laughs> Outside of being on set together for three weeks straight in probably, New, in New probably, Mexico, yeah, yeah, um, but that that trips me out because I, I feel very connected to you, um, and like I uh, I don't like that it's only been like like well, it's more than five times probably, but yeah. So I mean, you kind of hinted at it there too that you do there is some intentionality with needing to schedule stuff outside of the yeah. Thing too, it feels to, important to yeah. do that. Yeah, um, I, I I agree. I think I think it probably is. Yeah, I I, I think it definitely is. Uh, but I do have trouble with like I'm I'm a bit of a workaholic. Um, I don't know because I I just find so much joy in like in in making the art things and uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. It it's all it all kind of it sort of it sort of blurs together, the the friendship and the art. What part of the question have I not answered because it feels incomplete I guess how do you how do you do it like how I don't know <laughs> I'm working on it yeah do you is this something that you also uh, I don't know not struggle but like is this is this on your mind do you have to be like intentional uh, it's, with? it's definitely on my mind it's about I guess uh yeah, it's similar to like what you said, it's a trying to be mindful of like, well, if I'm going to, I feel in a similar boat with like, if I'm going to hang out with friends, like the group hangouts are normally making a short film and that's, yeah. and that's our hang. <laughs> yeah. But for the people that 
we want to, like the people that I want to establish a deeper relationship with, I think it takes more of the, like, all right, they're uh, th- getting us, getting off of set and doing other things and yeah. like game nights or yeah, or yeah. that sort of stuff. I think being that intentionality has been more at the forefront of my mind on like, it's good. Just, I, I'm, you know. I am, I'm, I'm not the best at that. You know, I, I have a very, there's, you know, with, with a small amount of people, I'm, I'm okay at that. But well, uh, yeah, you, we choose, I don't, yeah, yeah, you choose your people. Yeah. You choose your people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. H- have you, is it, I don't know how you picked your, your people, but is it, I know it's, it's, I don't know, I don't, it's commonplace that like, I feel like rumor has it that. It is harder to make like Los Angeles is a tough place to sustain oh, friendship. Yeah, and in the actor space specifically, like having other actors be yeah. friends instead of like, oh, let's make a thing together. Oh and yeah, yeah, some, yeah. You know that that sort of thing. I do no, yeah. It's uh, I don't know how you found your people, but well, I found my people. Um, well, like Charlie and Megan, the other two uh, Halloweeners. Uh, link below uh, there. <laughs> the, I, I found them th- from theater from, they were both in the theater company with me. Um, urban theater movement that we were in, um, you know, that ended like five years ago, but uh, we met and bonded from like rehearsing together. And then, and then eventually just decided to break away from that. Uh, other friends of mine, most of my friends are artists. And that's, I guess, cause that's where I meet the people, you know, yeah um but even uh, like our mutual friend mark uh riley who edited chama days um i grew up with the guy you know and we've just like managed to hang on somehow like one of the few people from my my youth that i've like hung on to but dude yeah friendships are sort of weird and it's um there's this sick like inside of me like this desperate actor that like wants to just like make shit you know so you almost have to like squash that, you know, and just be like, yeah, just have a coffee with the, like, don't try to get a job out of this or whatever, you know? Um, but yeah, it's, it is an endless struggle and I'm, I'm fucking guilty of it for sure. Um, with having, you know, it, there are friendships that could have sprouted, uh-huh. uh, probably in my life. Um, but just like didn't cause we, we ended up not making the project, you know, but like if we had just like. Just kept hanging out or something. Just actually, yeah, to be social, uh, you know, it, it could have worked. Los Angeles is hard uh, for sure, and also just like getting older, it's hard to it's it's hard to do that. You got to get more selective. It's a weird thing. Hmm. Getting older. I hate it. It's uh, uh yeah. I don't know. Well, on to on to. <laughs> I don't know. To, I, I was don't know. trying to say something nice about friendships. Yes. But, yeah. No. Yeah. But there are no, even with right. all that, there are there are like <sighs> there are like there there are friendships to cherish for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. I, I just yeah. had to tack that on because no, I felt that's so great. negative. <laughs> that's great. We gotta keep our keep our friends close. Yes. Keep our audience closer. <laughs> keep our audience closer. <laughs> no. Thanks for watching. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's pretty much the show. Okay. Um, last, last question. Just sure. A hard segue off of that. Yeah. Deep friendship plunge. Sorry to throw that on you last <laughs> okay. second. Oh, um, for those that want to keep in the loop and follow, uh, Mr. Spencer Weitzel, where can, uh, people keep up with what you got going on? You can, uh, you, you can, um, you, you, you can find me on the, on the Instagram, uh, Spencer underscore Weitzel. Um, and, you know, from there, I've got like a link tree with the other with the other stuff. I also uh, Halloweeners the series is on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Uh, I, I I recommend the YouTube and and the TikTok. That's the most fun. Uh, yeah, and then if you're on a desktop, you can go to spencerweitzel.com. Uh, and just see a more curated um, selection of stuff, uh, including my editing, uh, which I, you know, I do for for money occasionally. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, that's me. Great. No, I recommend Halloweeners for sure. That's how. That's how. That's how oh, I yeah. saw you first. Yeah. I'm like this guy is really funny. I want to no. work with him. 
Well, thanks again for coming out. Thank you for, for having doing me. Doing the show and I, going to these places with me. Of course, I, I hope this was. I hope you know I'm I'm a little self conscious. I hope it was good. Oh, great. Well, we'll All check right. in with our audience soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Love you. Bye.